Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Living Room Con here. I uh, been doing the hunt today for comics. Not really doing really any collection hunting at the moment, but I've been going through a bunch of long boxes today at uh, two of my uh, local comic book shops in San Diego. Uh, first one is Southern California Comics, and the second one is Amazing Collectibles. And my budget was strictly $200 this time. I'm going to start off with the Southern California Comics Hall because uh, it's the bigger hall. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I strongly recommend, if you get one of these, these are amazing. Ember, they work, like, incredibly well with keeping your coffee warm. It's got a little motion sensor thing. Here we got Daredevil issue 4, first appearance of Purple Man, and Jack Kirby cover, Stan Lee's story. It's uh, VG. This was the biggest book I got out of the entire haul today at SoCal Comics. And then here we got the first appearance of um, Huntress. I believe she's Batman's daughter. So that's a cool book to have. I think now that they're going to put Justice Society in the Black Adam movie. Anything Justice Society related, like All-Star Comics or uh, Golden Age DC, is just going to start popping up. So now we got uh, Firestorm. This is issue four. And um, this is like a high-grade copy. It's the first appearance of this guy. The hyena. Thought I uh, thought I got a good deal on it. It's because it's in really good condition. So, and then I got this book. I think this book is great because it's the issue just after 251, and it's in really good condition. It's a, a VFEF plus. I got it for fifteen dollars. So I thought that was um, pretty good. So now we got Shazam issue six. I think also anything Shazam related right now is going to start popping up because of the movie sequel. They're, they were had that panel, at, uh, DC fandom. If you hear me grunting, it's because I'm hunched over. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, by the way, um, when you're watching this, if you can hit that like button and subscribe, I would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I, I've, we've been working really hard on uh, putting these videos together. It's um, it takes time to to upload them and edit them. So if the more you like and uh, leave a comment, say hey, thank you for the video. That's that's appreciated too. So uh, we're trying to build up our subscribe uh, people who su subscribe. We noticed we got one yesterday. Thank you. Um, just uh, if you're new, just please um, just subscribe and like the, the video. Thank you. So now we got uh, Forever People 10 with Dead Man. It's like five bucks. Pretty good deal. We got Shazam 20. It's 21. And there's nothing really that special about this book. I just thought that it looked, it presented itself very well. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a high grade. So. This, these books were more expensive at SoCal Comics, and I ended up buying less at SoCal Comics. But I gotta say, when I went to Amazing Collectibles today, seriously, like my deals with Al, it was like, it was like we were just sort of like in this like sort of like rumble together. Like it was like neck to neck at each other. Like, you know, I'll do this for that. I'll do this for that, and we were like 
gonna like go back and forth, just trying to like see what how much is gonna pay for this, how much we pay for that, and it was kind of like trying to get a grip on like what we were looking at this because the way he sets his books up, it's like nothing's priced. You go in the short boxes, the long boxes. Some have prices, but they're on the back, and then he'll say, I'll ignore that, I'll give you half, but then most of them, like, I went in the other corner of the store, and there's, like, nothing nothing priced. So, because nothing's nothing's priced, I'm like, well, I don't know how I would approach you at a, with a number. So, I would, I'd be gladly to pay what it says on there if I felt that when I saw it in the, in the, in the box, like, I thought that would be a good deal, like I do at Southern California Comics, but at Amazing Collectibles, it's like, something you want, how much you think it's worth, what are you willing to pay, and it's like, I, I knew I only had $52 or $51 on me, so I knew what I was going to pay him, so um, it was just sort of like, like a, like, sort of like a rumble, <laughs> like, like, we're just sort of like wrestling with each other, and like, he he's got to make money. I got to make money. But he doesn't like the fact that I'm going so low. Let's go through the stack of books. Now these are are books that. I'm always going for is 30 cent variants, especially Luke Cage, because Luke Cage is one of my favorite Marvel bronze characters, just because he's, uh, I just think he's uh, so cool, uh, because um, he's from Harlem, Harlem Hellfighters, who, uh, that was my unit, the 1669 Harlem Hellfighter Brigade, so anything Harlem related, I'm all about, um, we got... Luke Cage, 34, 30, 30 cent variant. X-Men, 222. One of those uh, uh, Wolverine vs. Sabretooth ones. And we got another one uh, where Wolverine fights Sabretooth, but it's round one. Uh, so then you got a bunch of Silver Surfers. So yeah, I did get a good deal. But it wasn't like I walked away feeling happy. <laughs> it's like, yeah... You're, you're like, it's like wrestling with a jaguar, you know, it's kind of like, you better, you know, feel like you're up for your game, because it's no lovey-dovey when it comes to making these kinds of deals. You got issue 12 with Abomination, you got 13, you got Black Bolt appearance, 18, and we got Ultimate Fantastic Four, 20. And it's uh, first cameo of Marvel Zombies. I always grab that because uh, it's just so much speculation on that. So we got X-Men 149. End of the, the Bronze Age. So we got 154. 151. Kitty Pryde leaves the uh, X-Men. 267. Second appearance of Gambit. Oh, he did have a price on it. Oh, well. <laughs> he wanted $25 for this book, by the way. So then we got Youngblood 2, the first appearance of Prophet. Not really a fan. I don't really go for any of these books but uh, normally, but uh, because the price was right, I was able to do that. And then we got Tomb of Dracula 1, but it's the modern one. So we got Blade on the cover, and it's, of course, you know that's where the MCU, MCU is heading. So then we got Thor 136. And there's a first appearance in here, I just can't remember who it is. So then we got the second appearance of She-Hulk. Uh, then X-Factor 5, this is the cameo of Apocalypse. Um, I thought for the price... Because the price is right, it was worth it. You know, like, Apocalypse isn't really too hot right now. Because they, they're just putting them aside. So, there you have it, everybody.
guys and girls, girls and guys. Um, you know, it was a it was a hustle today, but uh, Lemmy Khan made it through.